The only way we're going to end preventable harm is if every one of our employees gets involved in this work. And we have a great story to share with you today. Help me understand why is it important that patients are mobile when they're in the hospital? So we know that when patients are on bed rest that it leads to weakness and worse outcomes upon hospital discharge. So we know that patients in the ICU are being moved a lot less so we thought it would be important to try to get them up and moving and knowing that if they could get up and move that they would have improved outcomes. Oh, fantastic. And how did you identify mobility as a potentially preventable harm? Um, there was a study done at Johns Hopkins in 2006 that looked at moving patients in the ICU and they found that when they did get them moving any sort of mobility that they had improved outcomes and mobility rates at discharge and also decreased time in the ICU and on the mechanical ventilator. Wow, that's impressive. And how did you go about creating this program? Uh, so we started with a basic mobility scale looking from rolling uh, to sitting, standing and up to walking and then we used that as a collaboration with nurses to set a daily goal for patients. Um, of what sort of mobility they can do for the day. And Cindy, what role are nurses playing in this program? So we consider nurses part of the healthcare team, part of the mobility team especially. And there are some activities that our patients can do that nurses can do with them. We don't necessarily need a PT consult for everybody. So there's some things as simple as getting a patient out of bed to the chair. We use PT for our sicker patients and our more acute patients and as a great resource for what our own patients can do. And I understand you're even engaging families in this kind of work. Oh, family members definitely a part of the healthcare team as well. Part of the tablet that we have has a family involvement menu, and they can help participate with activities that are anything from pushing a chair to doing bed activities for the patient. We really want them engaged in their in their loved one's health care as well. And Amy, I heard you put this program on a tablet. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure. So every morning we collaborate with the bedside nurse and we set a mobility goal for the patient. And that could be, for example, sitting edge of bed. And then we track that at the end of the day if the patient met their goal. And it's also a great way to look at if they're meeting their goals over time and a great way to progress their goals. So say Cindy said, you know, the patient sat up yesterday, let's try to get them standing today. Well, so it sounds like you're actually tracking patients metrics with this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and how does this these metrics inform your performance as a nurse? Well, it's great to have the whole team on the same level in terms of what the goal is going to be. It's great to also know why maybe a patient didn't meet that goal. We also can track if uh, the patient condition wasn't appropriate, if we didn't have enough activity, uh, if we didn't have enough staff, if we didn't have enough equipment, or if maybe the patient just refused that day, but it's good to be able to track that information. This mobility program is just so impressive. What kind of results are you seeing? So we're seeing that more patients are reaching their highest level of mobility, which is walking 250 feet or more, and that they're having improved mobility and outcomes upon hospital discharge. What a great example of how the only way we'll make care safe is if the whole care team comes together and works together for the patients and their loved ones. Please share your stories with us at the Armstrong Institute.